Sticks and stones will break my bones, but names will never hurt me. Sticks and stones will break my bones. The words will never hurt me. Come on, boy. Man up. Keep up. Stand up, sit down, shut up, keep up, stand up, sit down, shut up, keep up, don't cry, don't cry, do not cry. In my class, you're finally a man when you can kick your old man's But my moment never came. So soaked in my old man's Avon cologne and self-loathing, I resist the shame of not belonging. <laughs> My stepfather had the darkest, meanest eyes I'd ever seen. Years of alcoholic rage focused into two one and a half inch spaces under thick black eyebrows. Those eyes haunted me for years, alerting me to what was coming like a dog it feels a kick before the kick lands. I was a freshman in college when I heard he'd been killed. My stepfather's death was swift and violent. A bullet through the heart in a bar. I couldn't help but wonder, is this the path I'm on? Will this be my fate? Man, Man up. Sit, Sit down, down, chin up, chin shut up, up suck shut it up, up, drink up, suck it up, just lie, drink up, just lie, don't don't cry. Some part of me knew this man up stuff was bull, but it was everywhere, and it followed me deep into my adult life. Admitting my struggles with anxiety and depression would have made me vulnerable. Vulnerability meant weakness. I think that's why it took me so long to recognize the mental illness I lived with even as a child. I needed to draw my feelings because I didn't have words for them. Man up. Man up. Man up. up. Sit Sit down. down. Chin up. up. Shut up. It took years for me to recognize that I had an anxiety disorder, which explained why I spent most of my life in fight or flight mode. I was finally able to acknowledge that I needed help. I realized I'd been on a path to a type of masculinity that I didn't want to live by. Drawing helped me identify what I was struggling with. It's wonderfully freeing to speak your truth 